So we, we heard a lot about uh, CRM today. The topic of the day is, is about sales. And we thought we'd give you a glimpse of a new tool, a new app, actually, that we, ins uh, we, we introduced a few weeks ago. We wanted to fill in one last gap in the market that we don't have an app for. Um, but let us start from the beginning and, and, and see that what a small business, especially micro business, needs when they want to use a, a you know, central technology to manage their sales operation. All big things have small beginnings. Depending on your age group, uh, you might associate this quote with Lawrence of Arabia or Prometheus. Uh, it's one of my favorites, actually, it's quite, quite valid. But I'd say that for small businesses, beginnings are everything. And how you start, how you start building the foundations of your business, it's kind of a matter of make it or break it down the road. Your success is all about your customers. And of course, experience, customer experience is at the center of, of what you're bringing to your customers. And, and in order to stay productive and grow and, and make money, actually, which is the reason that why we're in business, we have to utilize the, our time in the, in the best of, you know, uh, of our, our ability to invest, let's say, one unit of time and in return, get more than one unit in productivity and added value. But how does this work for a micro business? Most of us, we spend all our time doing everything by ourselves, especially in the start, for various reasons. We know what we're doing. We don't have enough budget. It's harder to form a team. Even if we have a team, team of three, four, five people, it's a bit challenging to... Uh, you know, at, after some point to do everything by ourselves. We need automation of repetitive tasks to beat the clock. I mean, looking at the audience today, majority are CRM users, so we already figured that out. But for smaller entities, and I see around 34% actually, 43, I'm sorry, are 2 to two, 10 employee um um, you know, businesses in today's attendees. So for these attendees, I'd like to ask you, uh, I don't need an answer for that, of course, but uh, I'd like to ask you this question that how much of your operation is done by you and how much of it is, is automated? And when you don't have automation, what is it that's stopping you? All right, let's look at one survey that BizSugar has done recently, actually a couple of weeks ago, they came up with some really interesting numbers. They looked at businesses of different size from two to five employees to more than 100 employees. And they asked them this simple question, how much of what you do is you're doing it yourself, you do DIY, or, or, and, and how much of it is automated? You see a very interesting correlation between the size of a company within those thousands of organizations that were surveyed within the size of the com company compared to the amount of automation they do. This is the interesting part. Larger organizations, they have, um, you know, they ha they're automating a lot of their work and that's where the money is. Instead, smaller organization doing a lot of work themselves, which means that you have to be present to be able to add value. There is no automation, there's no extra time uh, on, on your hand to grow and expand your business. On the other side, we have information to deal with. We have, we have uh, you know, tons of, of information, but hoarding information will not help us. We have to analyze that information. We have to sen make sense of that information. Again, there are tools and technologies that help us there. Let's look at these two main areas of technologies available to us if we want to automate our sales operation. There are spreadsheets and the CRMs. Uh, it could be something else, but these are the most common types of tools that we can use. Let's run a poll and, and see what we're using today in our audience, uh, what kind of tools we're using, and, and then take it from there. OK. Let's have a look. So how do you, uh, how do you organize your day-to-day -day customer centric, centric activities? Uh, is it by CRM tools or spreadsheets or still evaluating other options? OK. Of course, uh, we have a lot of CRM tools. Very good. We see like 60% of the audience. Uh, I'll, I'll give it 
a few more seconds, then I'll show the results to everybody else. Okay. We still have people who use the spreadsheets. There's nothing wrong with that, but uh, it, it has its challenges. I'll, I'll touch on that for in a moment. Cool. Let's have a look at the results. So you can see that majority of people are using CRM. That's fantastic. But based on experience, like I can see that we have not, when even if we are using CRMs, uh, we have not utilized the automation, you know, to its teeth. Uh, there's still a lot of opportunities. Spreadsheets, okay, and very good. So let's move on. Let's go and talk about a spreadsheets for a moment. All right. This is what happens with spreadsheets. You start with one sheet and then it grows and takes a life of its own. And then you have to manage spreadsheets with the spreadsheets. They're awesome. They are very capable. They co often come for free and it's a very good start to organizing your data on your computer. But then, you know, as you grow, uh, it becomes problematic. Yes, they are awesome, but you cannot actually capture your lead to deal uh, properly. Either it's non-existent or you have to work with a lot of charts and do a lot of customization. Uh, the data is organized quite poorly. It's flat. It's a spread, as the name implies. So security of data, safety of data, accessibility of data is, is quite, uh, quite all over the place. It's too flexible for its own good when you want to rely on it in the long run. There's a lot of manual data entry, and I've seen spreadsheets organizations who lost a lot of data by making you know, tiny mistakes. And of course, duplicate entries and other issues. So that's the spreadsheets. They are good, but they have a lot of shortcomings. On the other side, you have 600 CRMs to, to pick from. If you're a micro business, you have something more important to do than, than you know researching technology. You want one tool to, to do the things for you. You don't want to deal with hundreds of uh, other tools. And, and when you look at a lot of these tools that identify themselves with, with, with CRMs, the problem with them becomes that they are not tailored for the small businesses or micro businesses. They actually just remove the features of a bigger edition, made it cheaper, and then they sell it to you which means that some of the key features that you might need are missing from the CRM that could guarantee your success. We want to change this thing, and that's why we launched Begin a few weeks ago, actually. What Begin brings to you is that, first of all, it is designed. You know, it's by design. It's made for micro businesses and small businesses. It's very pipeline driven. It's very customer and contact driven. And, and it has a very minimal design. So you're focused, again, on the data and doing your own job, not to dealing with complex interfaces or configurations. It's just go ahead and just use it. And of course, that's, that makes adoption much easier. If you have your team members, your employees, and uh, they're not really comfortable with technology, or they don't even need to. It could be a brick and mortar shop, and you don't need to be involved in tech. You can just adopt it and, and, and use it. And of course, another important thing is, is that's very cost effective. We we'll look at it in a moment. Privacy and security, it, it is worth repeating, is at the core of our business. So Begin is no exception. Uh, the same rules and policies that apply across Zoho apps applies, apply, applies for Begin as well. It is ad-free. We're not going to sell your data. We're not going to snoop into it. We're not going to look at your customers' data the way some surveillance companies do, because that's not our business model. Uh, we put every piece of information on our um, very secure data centers, and we, we guard your information even more than we guard our own. And, and we have compliance with a lot of standards uh, to prove that point. We are GDPR compliant, which is mostly a European regulation, but it also helps in our region, in countries like UAE or Saudi Arabia or South Africa, who are working on personal data protection laws. These are usually influenced by GDPR. Begin, we had three key points that we observed that are most important for businesses in mind. Ease of use, having the right set of features, and of course, being affordable. It's kind of a hard thing to achieve in this day and age to have all those three things under one roof. But we believe we have achieved that. Let's talk about ease of use. So you can set up in 30 minutes. If you look at this uh, screenshot there, you can upload 
you're going to start by uploading your, your your spreadsheet that exists already, and then and and choose an action, import it here and there, map your data, and you're good to go. We estimated that it's good to go in, in like 30 minutes. Oh, sorry, I just checked the chat box, chat box. Can you guys hear me? I need a couple of yeses. OK, thank you so much. Well, speaking of technology, never too reliable. Um, so yeah, you can set up in 30 minutes and then start selling after, you know, at minute 31 practically. And, and uh, you know, again, the interface is quite easy to, to use. Everything is contextual. We are very pipeline and customer centric with Bacon, which means that everything, the context is designed around contacts, which hopefully will become your customers, uh, you know, an ongoing basis. You get 360 view of, uh, of, of, of uh, whatever type of data that you're dealing with at any given moment. And you can see that although there's a lot of information on this, this screenshot, and this is how Begin looks like actually, it is still quite readable and usable. There's a journey that you can, you can follow across the information and make sense of what you have stored. Let me check my messages again. Now I have paranoia of, of audio and video. Very good. Um, all right. Of course, again, contextual statistics based on where you are. So here uh, you are in the, you know, on your deals page and you can see uh, where each deal is at. Underneath, you, you get a total kind of number of deals and which ones are open, which ones are won. So at a glance, in like a second, you can see where your pipeline is and make decisions on the go. As a business owner, as an executive uh, of, of a small business, you need to be aware of, of this super important information on daily basis, if, if not more. Another thing about ease of use, of course, is full support of mobile. Again, we design begin with mobile first in mind. It means that you can run your business practically from your pocket. You could be anywhere. I mean, nowadays we are stuck at home, but in, in, in a normal situation, you would be diff in, in different places, in your storage, uh, in, 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 in your retail store, meeting with customers, you have the information in hand. And wherever you are inside the app, you can create records. You don't need to move and navigate around as much as you do in any traditional piece of software. Now let's move on to the features. Have a quick look at some of the top features, a lot more, and I invite you to look at the website. It has all the information and we can, of course, schedule a demo for you. But let's have a look at the, have a bird's eye view of, of some of the features that makes you um, begin very unique. Uh, multiple pipelines. Uh, this is not even available in a lot of uh, expensive or more, more complex CRM applications, but we, we identified the fact that micro businesses need to have multiple pipelines in some cases, like inbound sales versus outbound sales. They want to differentiate these two. So we allow users to have like five, up to five different pipelines. Uh, you can customize all of your stages, uh, like negotiation, closing, sending code, whatever. And, and, and you have definitely a good flexibility there. Let's have a look at an example of, of a sales process and take, uh, you know, have a look at, at some of the features there. So uh, looking at a sales process, this is a typical sales funnel, capturing leads, engaging prospects, automating, you know, across the, you know, um, funnel and also closing deals and measuring your success. You have to be on top of the information that you're collecting to be able to make decisions for the next step. So capturing leads, let's have a look at capturing leads. Typically, a small business has a website. And on that website, we have contact page, inquiry page, or a specific landing page for a product or service that we just launched. We, we want people to easily put their information there. So we capture them as lead and we manage them across the funnel. There are web, to, web forms for that. And for CRM users, it's quite a similar experience. We just minimize it even more to make it more easy, you don't need to code. You just drag and drop the fields you need in a web form and just paste it in your website or have your website designer do that for you. You can even add CAPTCHA and, and privacy statements to make sure that, that your form is quite compliant with every regulation that, that your local country or your local market needs. So web forms is one key feature that needs to be in a CRM. Then we're talking about engaging with customers. 
uh, or with, with potential. So we need to be in touch with them. Um, telephony comes in built. Even the free edition of Begin has telephony in it. The express edition, which is the only paid edition, comes uh, with Twitter and social media and email and other ways as well. But telephony is, is a promise and it allows you to connect with customers instantly. You can log them inside, log the conversation inside Begin for later reference, no more manual entries needed. And a good news is that you can also connect it to your PBX, whatever local PBX that you're using, you use the whole phone bridge and see which compatibilities are there and, and you can connect your phones there. Uh, next up is to automate. This is what we talked about. It's all about automation, not asking human beings to waste their valuable time and send 50 emails 50 times or set a reminder to remind themselves about another reminder that reminds them about following up with the customer. This doesn't belong to 2020. These things has to be, have to be automated. So we have workflows for that. Easy as drag and drop, you can just imagine what you want to automate. Let's say if there is an incoming lead from a web form that is valued more than $5,000, you want um, the sales manager or the superior of the person in charge of the lead to be also notified because this is considered a good hot lead and you want to you know, um, kind of be involved in it directly. Or you want the salespeople or yourself to be reminded to follow up with the lead that has been stagnant for, for 15 days or 30 days. This is what automation does. And we all know how much money and business we lose to not to follow up. Research shows that between the third to fifth follow up, your chance of, of closing increases staggeringly. So why do we rely uh, on, on manual processes for that? It is too valuable. This needs to be automated. All right, moving on to the next step is measuring and closing deals and of course measuring our success. We need to know at any given time where our business is. We have the pipeline, we put a lot of information, a lot of data that nobody likes actually because it's, you know, it's work, it's extra work. But the point of collecting and hoarding that much data is to give you dashboards and reports and intelligence. It helps you make decisions about the next month, about the next season and years to come. We have placed all those advanced features in Begin. You have out of the box dashboards that are available, very good to start with. You don't need to do anything extra, just drag and drop them. Look at your pipeline, uh, who owns what in terms of deals, where are you with, with uh, you, know, you know, main factors and KPIs of your business. And of course you can customize and add new dashboards. Um, another important thing is to decide who sees what, because not everybody in the organization needs to have access to all the con confidential or sensitive information. Maybe, maybe you don't want to show uh, your revenue or gross profit to the rest of the team. So you can give access um, and, and with, with permissions and everything. Another key feature is integration. Because once you're done with, with setting up and running your CRM, you start, you'll start growing. Growth means that you have more technology uh, uh, around you and you want these technologies to speak with, with each other, to talk to each other. Uh, I can assume that some of us are using Office 365, some are using uh, G Suite and, and probably Zoho's other apps for email and productivity. So the connections and integrations are key for our success. Right now, these uh, integrations that are listed here are out of the box available, basically flip of a switch. And, and you can use a scanner, you can use meeting, uh, these are Zoho apps, you can use our state of the art customer service app. There's no better time to implement a proper customer service solution. Uh, everybody's working remotely and customers are mostly frustrated and they have extra time to call and spend time. So it's best. Zoho campaigns for email campaigns, of course. And then there, this is the interesting part. We have full Zoho Flow integration. What is Zoho Flow? If, and, and also Zapier. Zapier and Zoho Flow allow you to create integration with thousands of other apps outside without writing code, um, buying any extra software, or, or, or dealing with API, which is, which is quite daunting. So you can use Zoho Flow to connect Begin to other Zoho apps. 
connected to uh, Google Sheets, to Zoho Sheets, to anything that, that you can imagine. I think we have at least two to 300 out of the box integration with Flow available. That's kind of next level. So all of this, you know, all of these features and design and everything that went to it, we wanted to make it affordable to make sure that micro businesses do not think twice dumping the spreadsheet or some half-baked tool and use a, a, a good tool like, like Begin. So we made it available at $7 per month per user. This is, of course, if billed annually. It's a little bit more if you want to pay month to month. $7 a month a user is, is, is just basically two cups of coffee probably a month per person. And I believe we drink more coffee in, uh, in a month. Now, this is the base price, and it gets you the express edition. There's also a free edition that you can try today. And if you're in a number of African countries, and there's a handout about uh, African local pricing, you'll get uh, even, even better dis a discount um, and, this, and, 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 and this price tag, which makes it you know, ridiculously affordable. Um, let's have a look at the competition. This is not what I usually do, but it's it's too tempting not to do it. Look at begin here. We had seven dollar a month uh, point, and these are some other really good tools that are available outside. And there are hundreds of others, and I'm sure you probably I heard someone is using HubSpot. We don't even have it listed here. Price point, okay, we're beating them. But how about features? You can have a quick look and see that we are ticking the box for all the important and major features that are needed for you to be successful in your business. The others will charge extra. No, no problem with that. The choice is yours. There are two things that we are working very hard to add to this collection. There's the marketplace for further customizations to make it even more versatile. Um, and also API access. If you or your team has a flair for programming and you want to you know, access the data programmatically. Within the weeks that we started launching Begin, hundreds of companies, 250 plus as, as of three days ago, uh, started using Begin. These are micro businesses, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and they are super happy with, with the result. We have lots of testimonials and makes us very, very humble and, and, and proud. Uh, Vikas Kakar, he's, he's super impressed uh, with Begin and, and how it had um, helped them, uh, you know, after trying multiple tools to automate your process and transform their sales process. I mean, this is this is what we want to hear. Uh, another happy customer, um, uh, Louis San, if I'm uh, pronouncing his, his his name correctly, from Bedrock Success. They are also impressed with uh, with Begin, and actually they um, they automated a lot of processes. And and here there's a case study of what they've done. Uh, you you can access it on this link. Uh, this link is actually uh, live. You can click it right here and open it and hopefully have a look at it later. Uh, we can also share with you the slide deck. So this shows that that we are on the right track. And within a matter of weeks, we have a lot of adoptions. And we expect way more adoption at Begin. Because there's there's always been a gap in that part of the market when smaller organizations were not really either comfortable from a budget perspective or feature perspective to adopt the full-fledged CRM. Now you have one. There's one question that, especially I think, given the audience today, uh, half of us are CRM users, would be like, okay, so we have Zoho CRM. Why do we have Zoho begin now? As I said, one big point is to fill the gap between having nothing and, and having Zoho CRM. Zoho begin is pipeline-centric CRM solution for smaller and micro businesses organizations of two, five, 10, 15 people. Uh, CRM is end-to-end -end, uh, CRM platform. It's m very flexible. You can do thousands of things with it. And it is good when you are a medium-sized organization and if you're an enterprise. We have companies a few hundred to few thousand employees uh, who are using CRM very successfully. And actually it plays a very big role in the MIS scenario. Begin is uh, you know is for organizations that do not need that that much feature. They want do not want to spend that much money either. Although CRM is still quite cost effective, but we believe that Begin can serve a lot of other customers. So let's uh, finish with one poll question, and then we get to the 
uh, questions because I'm, uh, I'm interested uh, to see if, if uh, you guys are interested to have a dedicated session on, on begin and, and delve deeper and then we can take personal demos and talk about it even more. Let, let me just quickly run this poll and appreciate you filling this one up as well. I know we ask you a lot of questions today. We really appreciate you helping us with that. All right. So far, so good. We see a lot of thumbs up. Okay, I have 35 answers. Can I get it to 40? Wonderful. Okay, so 40 people responded, 41. And now we have, uh, well, okay. Majority of the respondents, they want another session on begin. Please stay tuned. The, the moment we schedule something, we'll send you an email and we put it on our social uh, channels and we'll be more than welcome to join us for a live demo and, and a better, you know, more deeper session on begin. Thank you so much for your time. I would close with this, that it's now your turn. Wherever you are in your business, are you a CRM user, you want to use Begin or you haven't used anything, it's always your turn to turn up a notch uh, in uh, your, your operation and, and take it to the next level. You can um, you know, have a look at Zoho uh, Begin at zoho.com slash begin and start today. Thank you.